Hi, this is Ron McTube. We're playing the Hunter Classic on PC. Today we're hunting for Whitetail on Red Feather Falls and we're doing a mission called Dinner for a Week. We've got to get two Whitetail books with a weight of at least 68 kilograms. We're at Trapper's Rest Lodge and it's 11 a.m. The reason we're doing this is because I've seen there's a lot of new players, hello new players, uh, on the Steam forums and they're asking about how to get Whitetail. So I thought, you know what, let's help them out. Let's try and show people where to get Whitetail in the easiest possible way. So all you need to do, we'll take a look at the map, is you start here, Trapper's Rest Lodge, 11 a.m. and you walk straight down the path from the lodge straight to this tree stand where I'm walking on the map. Nice and easy, you can't get this wrong. And you will find Whitetail in this area every time. There's either going to be a moose call you when you walk there, when you first start or it'll be a white tail it could be a female it could be a male that's just down to the hunting gods what you get but there's always white tail in this area especially where I'm marking now so I'm going to mark all the areas around it on red feather falls where you're likely to find the white tails so if you check these areas I'm marking in around it you will get white tail you will get moose as well maybe a few bears up the top but mainly white tail so that is the easiest way just walk straight forward to that tower you can carry on whichever way you want in the boundary uh, it's just a rough location of where to find them you can go behind the lodge as well where i'm marking it just depends uh how you feel like hunting to be honest the lodge straight to that tower is the quickest probably easiest way to find whitetail in the hunting classic without using tents Dartwood Lodge is also decent, but it's only a small area, well, it's a smaller area, I would say, and probably less chance of finding whitetail in this area marked. Um, often you will get elk here as well, so if you have to elk, you get elk there in that sort of area, so you might get elk instead of whitetail, but this area we're marking near that tower is like the whitetail, <laughs> it's a whitetail area even. You do get some very big moose there now and again, I've had some really big ones like 220, nearly 230 there. So it's good to check for moose as well. I've got the 300. We've got to get two of these whitetail male books at 68 kilo and above, which isn't that hard a mission, but I'm just doing it mainly to show the new players where to find whitetail. Because if you're new to anything and you don't know, you need to be shown or you need to learn, don't you, before you know how to do what you're doing. So that's just normal, there's nothing to worry about. Sometimes you can get um, a little confused when you start new games or new anything. You, you've just got to have a little bit of patience at the start and you will really enjoy the game once you get into it. I do miss playing it. Sometimes I do play Call of Wild a lot. I see some people have asked recently, like, when are you doing classic videos? So that's why I've been saying recently, I am doing classic videos again now. Um, I just had a little break from it for a little bit. I have played for 11 years, remember, and I've shot about everything you can do in every single way, in every rare, non-typical, I've done most of it, so <laughs> I have put in a lot of hours, probably 10,000 plus hours on the game, so you do need a break when you've played that much sometimes, but now back on it, been enjoying it, been playing for about a week all over Christmas, uh, again called a while a little break, and just been playing classic, but about now, when you come from that lodge, normally from 11 a.m. you get a call we've just had a moose call it can be a moose call it could be a white tail it just depends on what you get but when you come to about where this tree is if you haven't had a call often where that tower is you'll get some around there it could be a male or female or straight forward where i'm looking now uh, there can be a white tail or a moose sort of in this location so just be aware just crouch walk you don't need to prone uh, you do have to be cautious with big white tail, especially they are very spooky. Some of the spookiest in the game, but as long as you crouch, walk, take your time, you will be fine. Right, come on white tail, where are you? I can see some in the background already walking. And lo and behold, there is a very nice white tail. Hello butterfly. <laughs> that is a really nice one actually. Now the white tail, often the really big ones, what you're looking for, 85 to 100 kilo anything in that sort of range right the weight is quite important and so is a rack but anything in the 85 to 100 kilo once you get that tracking skill up and you can do that follow those because if it's got a rack to match the weight it'll be very big now that is a very big one i can tell you that now it's quite a nice one that's gonna be at least 160 over 
um, the big wide beam racks are quite nice you also get some uh, high racks I'll call them uh, back in the day you used to get ring racks and all of them uh, all the different kind of racks and you can get non-typical non-typicals to new players if you don't know what they are and you don't hunt they are random antlers so they can look quite bizarre if you see a non-typical one they're not like um, symmetrical and everything they, they go all everywhere we've got another one as well I have had some really big non-typicals as well around here I've had some nice high scoring uh, normal typical ones I've had a few over 200 on this map which is very rare to put it into how rare they are I think I've had four in 10 years of playing over 200 uh, typical ones so what you're ideally aiming for if you do a competition is 190 that just shows you that will probably win it or it can win it but over 200 is like a unicorn <laughs> so I have hunted whitetail a lot they are one of my favorite species just like the elk elk and whitetail are probably my favorite species in the hunter classic and I spent a hell of a long time <laughs> hunting them so what we're doing now is we're getting a little vantage point on this rock we're going to go prone and just call it because it is quite a nice one and the big white tail or spooky i'd say once it gets about 170 something like that they seem to take a different level of sort of awareness and they seem to get a little bit more spooky so you just got to watch it when you've got the big ones coming in try and plan out where the animal might come from when you call it you obviously want a good vantage point a good place to view where it's walking from you don't want trees and everything in your way or bushes if you can help it I'm just going to use a 300 on uh, this white tail. I'm not going to risk it with a boat because it looks like a really nice one. It's not going to smash any records, but it's a nice one for video. So <laughs> hopefully we get it. I'm using the range finder. The range finder is really important, uh, especially when you've got a bow. I have got the snake bite bow. We'll try that on the next one. All right, come on. You don't have to overly call just call every I call every 30 seconds to a minute uh, just try and keep it coming to me you don't have to keep calling every few seconds just once every 30 seconds to a minute and it'll, it'll come in right getting into range now I could kill it quite easy I'm just making sure and so you can see the white tail a little gets right behind that hill what they generally do is they'll walk where they're not spooked about so many steps and then they'll stop and that's when you want to try and hit them if you can when they walk instead of uh, watch their faces as well because if you start looking at you they're gonna bolt it's quite important that is they'll sniff around in the air and then if they net if they snap snap around with the head and look at you they're gonna go but that one's not going anywhere it's dead <laughs> right nice clean shot 300's done the job 300 is a really good gun one of the best guns in the game the other one will have uh, run off but we got the one was after and it was the first one we spotted as well so this spot is really good for white tail as you can see so I hope this helps you out this will be over what we need 68 kilo as well over that even on the low side so that will be the first part of the mission done then we're going to move to loggers point and I'm going to show you my uh, nice little hunting technique for getting white tail on there so there we go heart right lung 161 so a nice example we'll take a trophy shot 88 kilo we've definitely done the first part of the mission there we go let's take a trophy shot how's your hunting been are you had any good trophies either on classic or call a while drop it in the comments i do like to hear what you've been up to have you had any rears any monsters any diamonds anything you've had drop in the comments i like to see and comment and communicate with you everyone who watches so we need taxi demise that it's not really big enough for my lodge i think i've got a 189 in there in a minute a typical one um most of my big ones i had before the lodge come in which is a bit gutting because it'd be nice if we could have kept those in but you can't that's just how it works right on to loggers point now this is how to get white tail on loggers point very easily i'll show you my map where i've got my tents and how to find them right I have a tent right in the middle of Loggers Point and the reason for this is so I can go either left or right from my location here. Um, around this area there's often lots of mule deer and whitetail but what is a brilliant spot is where I'm marking now. It's two 
towers down from the top spawn so you can't get it wrong it's the second tower down and all that area there is loads of whitetail bobcats feral hogs pheasants loads of animals but you do get a high percentage of good whitetail around that tower so put a tent on it now the bottom tower is also very good for whitetail I've had a monster non-typical video uh, well monster non-typical on video there you've probably seen it you might not have if not check it out it was an absolute beast but that's why I've got the tent there so I can either go that way and go up to that tent or go the other way and to that tent and they like the equal distance so basically it costs you two camping supplies if you fast travel straight away now when you fast travel to these areas where well, marked with a circle you will often get a call or whitetail will be already there so it's just a quick easy simple way how to go there so what I'll do is I'll walk to about where the arrow point is and then if there's nothing called because sometimes there's a whitetail on the left side um, where I've marked with the arrowhead if that hasn't called by then, then I'll fast travel up to the other tent, and then normally there'll be a whitetail there. So we're going to try it out now, and let's see if it works. It does generally work. It's quite a simple tip, quite easy. Um, so put the tents on the towers. The reason towers are in those locations, it's a mule deer, uh, is because there is animals in that area. That's why towers are where they are. So we had a mule deer. Sometimes it's a whitetail in front of us that calls. But it's a mule deer this time so what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel up to this tower here and hopefully we'll get some white tails around us it doesn't always work like this there is often white tails here but sometimes it's pigs bobcats and the like but what you have to do is you have to prone and then go in the tower now when these bobcats right on you when you fast travel they might spook and sometimes when animals spook it's like a domino uh, triggered reaction they'll spook everything in the area and they all run and spook each other so when you come to this tent prone and then just crawl into this tower and then take a look around so we managed to get up in the tower and I hope we haven't spooked anything we're gonna let a call out I'm just doing that just in case there's a white cell in a bush or something around and I haven't seen it sometimes that will happen you look all around 360 examine every little particle <laughs> in the map all around you and you're like there's nothing there and then that pops a bush some you know what i mean you just don't see it so we're just going to have a quick glass round and see if we can see any white tail normally there's two or three in the area and it's just a good a good place um a good tip with the hunter classic is keep your uh, your um, your options open when you're hunting because you might be hunting for white tail and then you might see a big pig like we see now or a big pheasant there's pigs pheasants bobcats here uh white tail coyote is so you never know sometimes the biggest animals you'll ever get or by or be by accident you know what I mean you'll be out hunting for elk and then you find a giant white tail that's just how it plays sometimes so that's what you're trying to do just keep your options open but there is normally a lot of white tail here when you fast travel it and the thing is I'm doing a video so obviously there's not gonna be nothing here now <laughs> it's just standard there's news recently about the hunt uh, turkeys the hunt the classic and turkeys uh, they're getting remodeled so I will be hunting those a lot when they're out I can't wait for that to be done turkeys is one of my favorite species where are you going piggy can't see a white tail at the minute so I'm gonna try and take this with a snake bite perfect All right stay there down you go snake bite is very good shoots pretty flat up to about 32 meters so if you get 32 meters away from the animal shoot it boom you should nail it every time and we have got a white tail which is absolutely tiny <laughs> 25 oh my that is a baby we don't need that we need something better than that even if it's the weight but then again I could shoot it sometimes the really small animals small racked animals like that are actually as rare as the really big ones when you get the really tiny ones back in the day there used to be one where it used to have two little prongs facing up uh, but that model's not in the game anymore but it used to make you laugh when you've seen it should we shoot that pig we shot one there yeah shoot with a bow we'll have a little trick shot hello what's that here's a nice white tail I think yeah look at that that is definitely a nice white tail so that will complete the second part of my mission and I am going to take him out 
But as I was saying about the turkeys, uh, they're getting remodeled. I don't know when that's exactly going to be uh, in the Hunter Classic when that's been done, but we will be hunting them. The very first competition ever I won, uh, it was played in the Hunter Classic. Uh, I won it, and it was for turkey. That was the very first comp ever done. Uh, I think it was like 93 it scored. Back in the day, uh, Turkish used to score up to like 90 ish. Uh, then it went down to like 70s. So a 90 is basically the same as a 70 now. Really rare. And I had a 93 that won that comp. And that was the very first comp in the Hunter Classic. Nearly 11 years ago, that's, that's unreal. Right. Hopefully I don't blow this. That is a good one as well. Oh no. I think we've blown it. That's running away really fast. And that normally means a body shot. He's confused. He's running in circles. <laughs> I can't believe that. I thought I nailed that. I can't see any blood. Normally when you get a really good shot, you see loads of blood on the floor. And the way that's run off, he's still going. <laughs> I think we blew it. I'm going to be annoyed with myself if we have messed that up because... That was quite a nice whitetail as well. It had a uh, high rack. Uh, this was about a 120 there whitetail. That had a high rack, uh, like I was saying earlier. And quite nice. Some of the really big high rack ones, I actually prefer them than the long wide beam ones. Um, let's just check this broad, because I'm not sure about that. I swear I nailed that. Let's have a look. Where's the blood? I can't see any. Is that it? Lung heart. So yeah, we did. We nailed it proper. You can't see the blood easily though. It's under the grass. Ah, there it is. Look. So yeah, we did nail it. I'm surprised it ran off like that with that shot because that is normally a pretty good shot. But right, we'll just have to track it down. It did look quite a nice one though. So we'll definitely complete the mission once we found it. Here he is. Maybe I didn't kill it. Maybe the log did. Look, someone's been felling trees. It's landed on its head. Killed it. Death by axe. Chopped the tree down. <laughs> I'll take I'll take a picture of that. I can't believe that. What's the odds of that? It ran and fell under that. How unlucky can you get? I'll just escape. Trees land on it. Uh, <laughs> take a couple of pics for that for social media. But yeah, that's got quite a nice rack. You can tell it's not going to be like a 190 or something because it could do with, uh, an extra big prongs and that. It's not quite as big as it needs to be, but it's still a nice one. Definitely over the weight. We need 159, so almost identical scoring to the last one we had, and that is mission complete. So that's been me, Ron McTubin, doing uh, a hunting guide for Whitetail and doing dinner for a week mission on the Hunter Classic. I've really enjoyed jumping back on Classic. I'll be doing lots more. Drop in the comments what you want to see next hunting on the Hunter Classic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.